Attempt number five. Yay, we got transcoding. <laughs> that only took five tries. That's pretty good. Uh, that's better than we usually do, not going to lie. Quite often it's just, yeah. Hey. Why they just randomly hand out something that pretty much um, everyone will just keep restarting their stream until they get uh, beyond me. If I don't do it, then I start the stream, 10, 20 people join, and then eventually one will say, oh, I can't watch in 1080p, and there's no transcoding. Just give transcoding to everyone every time. Simpler. Really would be. Anyway, let's see if we can't... <sighs> Get things going right we're into game that's good social media in time <coughs> excuse me yes i think rather it probably is let's do a bit of that live stream there we go uh what do we do we got to do the other ones yes we do Yes, I'm still wearing the red t-shirt from yesterday. I'm not, actually. I have several t-shirts the same colour. I tend to find one I like and go, oh, I'll, I'll get a couple. Buy one, get one free. You know. <laughs> like, like any of that matters anyway. Uh, who have we got? Whom have we got in chat? Let's have a look. The usual lurkers. Welcome, lurkers. You're always welcome. I've done dailies today. Londis, ahoy. How are you getting on? Is your desk all rearranged and looking cool? Are you all set to go? There I am. And the thumbnail for the video is going to look exactly the same as last time. Damn, I should have thought of that. I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> Hmm. How am I going to do with this? Yeah, I think I might uh, wait and see how much uh, more expensive those get. Or how much better the price gets. I don't know. Organised chaos at the moment. Well, you've seen the state of my actual desk, haven't you? In no way, shape or form. <laughs> it's, uh, is that a decent looking desk? No, it isn't. It's uh, nuts. I was kind of curious, you know, how things are going over on Test Live at the moment. I want to go and have a little look over there. If you will indulge me, we'll go and. Uh, have a little look on test live i'm just i'm just curious to see if there's anything new because i am that sort of nosy yeah, well not nosy it's kind of curious isn't it you know yeah well my desk is essentially two desks it's a normal size desk and then somebody's x um kitchen counter balanced on top of a small desk and bolted, all like screwed and bolted together. It was so I could get the right uh, position for my um, for my monitors. So I'm just starting up test live. No new patch. Okay.
We, we like to do funny things over here, don't we? There's a couple of places I want to check. Um, yeah, this guy was the... Well, what would I call him? Like a test, test live character, basically. He's neutral, anyway. That's why it makes you do all this on test live. None of it actually works. Have a look. Foreman's. No pending reward items. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, he's a little neutral. Just means he can go anywhere kind of thing, you know. I mean, he's just wearing, like, zero gear whatsoever. I just wanted to check just to see if there was any new message when I tried to go in the subway. Uh, in the, um, the foreman's dungeon, just in case. As you can see, I've done absolutely nothing with this guy. I just... I was trying to explain how things work on the... on the test server for somebody, and that was kind of it. Game volume, I think, is much louder on this client than it is normally. Yep. You see, when you go to the subway entrance here... You get one mess. Well, you get this message. Let's have a look. Must be in raid... And also, only level 25 characters can enter this dungeon. So just out of curiosity... We'll fire up Test Live again. I don't know if I've got any characters on my other account for Test Live. Let's have a look. Put myself into a raid team. Please select breed and gender. Um, okay. Solitus male selected. Hang on. Please choose your it's appearance. It's capturing the other clients so. There you go. This is this is the test live server. I think that's Kingster's face. <laughs> Uh, Please select a profession. Enforcer selected. Right, I need to run him out of um, a read. Please name your character. <laughs> Miss Bell Kingster. <laughs> It'll, it's going to let me do it. If, if Kink, if you ever watch this, sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't copy your name, just in case you ever do want to come over to the test live server with one of your characters. Okay, so... GY, control center, mini roll-up bar's the main thing. Okay, skills, suggested IP. What does it actually do for? Two-hand blunt, eh? No! Exploring, does. Yeah, okay. Say save, close. The audio loud on this one as well. It is. Yeah, there we go. 
Right, okay. Oh my god, that mouse is humongously fast. That's better. No Bob camera. I get the feeling I've never really logged this character in over here. How is the stream? Can you see everything? Is it okay? Is it working? I'm just looking at the stream from my end now. Breaking everything. Yeah, it looks like it's working. What's my bitrate like? That's pretty good. Of course, you've now got the um, infinite looping of doom in, in the corner now. Which is, you know, is okay. I wonder how many loops it will actually do. No. Is okay. I wonder how many loops it will actually do. No. Is okay. Wonder <laughs> okay. Uh, let's GTFO. Uh, do is just level him up. And, yeah. There we go. Put you there. Put you there. I think that's all you get on the enforcer at the start. So this isn't a, anything serious. This is me making another character just to team with because I just want to test something. Okay, I'm at full death. Will I survive? Picked up the credit card. Take the money. Yep. As per my original video. Sprat513 is following. Thank you for the follow. I'm just over on the test live server before we get started tonight. Just faffing around, really. I just want to check the entrance for somewhere. Right. I'm ready to leave. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm sure you can help me, but I'm rich. Name your prize. I have the money. Whatever, it's all the money he's got. Goodbye. And there we go. A reet landing in, what, two and a half minutes. Itchy ear already. That's not good. Right. Okay, so now he can team with my other one. On test live, Tron? No. <laughs> this is completely pointless. At the moment, we are level one. Yeah. Oh, well, welcome to Rubicar, Sprat. I'm on the test server, so you can't do any of this on... Um, on the live server. So you can't walk up to a robot and say, there you go. Be level 200. That quickly. Right, okay. Um... Not that it matters, but... <laughs> yeah, Test Live's a good place to come. You can do it on a free account or a paid account. Um, 
just to, you know, you just want to come and try out weapons, etc. Or try out how you're going to build your character. This is a Froob. Apparently I've got incredibly slow run speed. <laughs> I'm running in slow motion, why? Let's have a look. Uh, exploring. There you go. Why am I running slowly? That's weird. Because you have one HP. Oh, right, okay. Oh, the percentage of my HP is incredibly small. I know what you mean, yeah. Right, okay, so he's 200. So now I can team with him. Like I say, this is just an experiment on test live. Right, there we go. Yeah, relative to is its percentage of HP that's actually left, isn't it? Uh, where are we going? We'll go trade. This, this is a unkitted out, but level 220 neutral that I've just made. Or I made this a little while ago, actually. Um, you're paid. Well, yeah, you get a lot more toys and such than you would ever get. Uh, on Froob. The other one's a Froob, but I only made him um, just because. So I could form a team uh, to test whether or not they've opened up a new dungeon or not. So you can't convert to a raid unless. you're already in a team. Certain instances require for you to be... Well, it's not 20k, I want that. I don't know the Omni Wampa system that well, even though I've played for 20 years. <laughs> I still don't know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, great. Engine crash. Okay. I have to log him out. You can go to a mailbox and almost do the same. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he only had, like, whatever he had. When, when he left a re, he had full health for a level one which is less than 1% health, you know, for a, like a level 200, which is what this, this two now is, but he doesn't have, this is just, you can, you can come over on a Froob account as well. Right. So I've logged the other client off and I'll log it back because I've got a graphics engine crash going through the Wampa umpteen times into zones that aren't very stable with the new engine. So. Log him back in. Okay. This guy. Let's go. Looking for team. Type in there. Okay. There's my. Okay. And then. Convert to raid. Right. Back where we were up to. On this little neutral. Who can go where he likes. Have you run into a player named Gaz? On the clan side, Gaz shot and Gaz Doc is. Oh, is it you? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Most of my tunes are 220, so. Right, all that, all that faffing around. Just to come here. And just see. If they've been working on 
the foreman's dungeon for higher levels. Let's have a look. No, denied. No, they haven't. It was worth looking. It was worth looking. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I've got two clients, it's... Let's grab the other one. No problem. Yeah, I got the same message. See, on this, this tune now, actually, I'm going to go the way I know. I don't know the Omni Wampa route. I've, I've never really played Omni, so... I mean, I've got like a level 130 Omni, and as soon as they could use the grid, that's what they did. This is the grid if you haven't been in it yet much quicker way of getting around and the only thing that is quicker is uh, the fixer grid or an arc warping you halfway across the entire planet <laughs> when you're not expecting it I just I just went and checked uh, Biomare again Sav and uh, it's a no Just check it. I know, I know. I even I even made another tune just to check. So I could team with somebody and turn it into a <laughs> turn it into a, a raid group. Are they making a big boy foreman's? We're kinda hoping so. We don't know that they are, we just kinda hope that they are, you know? Yeah, Test Live's a great place to go and generally <laughs> go and experiment with uh, all kinds of stuff. You know, if you want to see how you feel with a certain class or whatever, you can go over there, instantly level, have symbionts, armor, rings, back arm, you know, everything. Every nano that class ever has. You can do all of that, um, you know, without spending hundreds of hours, possibly more, uh, trying to get there. No, you can get max level. Do you want to see how long it takes to get to max level? Right, hang on. <laughs> yep. You, you can do the whole shebang. So, right. Um, just so you can see exactly what's going on, all you got to do is use the duplicator. Uh, patch, if necessary. Normally you won't if you've used it. Oh, I want to change the font size. Is that the Savic that made the maps? Yes, and the it's bundled with the game as well, by the way. When you select your planet map, you can select Savix map of Rubicar by default. Uh, change that font to 20. Because I play at 1440p. Yep, Savix map of Rubicar. Because Savic is the boss. Yes, she is. A nerd moment. And if you search um, Google for uh, Please select breed and Anarchy gender. Online, you'll Solitus probably find me selected. somewhere in there on YouTube. Please choose your appearance. Um, there's the guy with green eyes. Let's go for the scary dude. Please select a profession. 
Yeah, Savick's map of Rubicar is the best map of Rubicar that's ever been made. Um... Keeper selected. We'll go make a keeper. Please name your character. <laughs> I'm going to wind Savik up now. These characters, I'm just going to delete them anyway if I ever need the slot, so don't worry. Right, so once again, I'm going to have to do the same thing again. So as soon as I get here, F10, GUI, Control Center, Mini Roll Up 2 Bar, which is what we originally had in the game, uh, P for Planet Map, Select Map, I've got some extra ones that are bigger scale because I play at high resolutions. Right, okay, so Savix map of Rubicar times two for old blind people like me. Is the audio okay? Right, all I'm gonna do on this character, just so I can get out of a re, is I'm gonna come up on here, do suggested IP, tell it to save, close, and then I'm gonna I'll do these two, and I'm going to put my first aid there, I'm going to put that there, I'm going to upload that, upload that, then my ag bar, I'm going to move across like so, and then we're GTFO from here. Now, normally you've got a quest to run through, but there is a quick way of getting out, which was one of my first videos back in 2015, which is, you know, how to leave a REIT in under five minutes, and I actually run down the entire bridge, which I didn't need to do. You can jump off the side. We figured it out. Ah, I've got my brightness turned up on display capture. Oops, excuse me. Uh, from from last night filters. Yeah, I thought I had. It was a bit murky, so I turned the brightness up. Seeing the ICC towers in the background. Yeah, it makes it feel more connected, doesn't it? This, no, I just made a level 200 enforcer. I'm not making the enforcer on stream, I don't think, anyway. I mean, I could. Right, I've picked up the bank card. I for inventory. Right click. Are you sure you want to steal the money? I now have 1500 credits. Or 15,000 credits. It is a keeper, yeah. I've just done this, just why not, you know. Um, this is Test Live, by the way, folks. We're, we're just doing a bit of messing about on Test Live. It's not the live server. I mean, I could maybe, um, I could maybe do the new tune and start it today on on a stream, but but you don't have to type the amount and just. Hold
hold nine down and it will automatically select the right amount. Yeah. With lots of A's in it, just in case you have other tunes you want to use. I'll delete it after, don't worry, Sam. Um, rolled Carlos. <laughs> you want to call it in this one. <laughs> then you can have Revenge. Right, so here we are, we're on test live, and as you can see, there's nearly no one here, because it's a test server, people don't regularly play here kind of thing, some people do. Um, so, just so people understand um, the test server, so over here, in this very tall looking uh, fetching droid, it's called Auto 2, if you come over and talk to him by right clicking, um, He's got lots and lots of options, so you can ask him all kinds of questions. So, may I receive a level boost? And he will go, what level do you want to do? So, I'm going to say, boost me to 220. There we go. Uh, I will change my side. So, if you say that, you won't remain neutral. You'll become clan or omni. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to join the clans. Then he says, okay... So now I am currently neutral. No, I would like to change my side. Oh, I've done it, yeah. So he gives you the form. Boof, and there you go. I am now clan. Yeah, you can only go up to things. So I'm going to say level boost, please. 220. <clears throat> um, we're going to remain clan. There you go, we've reached 200. So now he's giving me instructions, so you follow the instructions. And he says here, in order to proceed to past 200, you must do the following. Commit your faction... Commit your character to your faction. Preferences under behaviour, behaviour settings, select shadow knowledge, question option. Where are we? Behaviour. Where am I now? There we go. Behaviour. Shallow, shadow knowledge question option. Uh, I didn't see it, but yeah, go on, continue. That might be out of date, that bit. So there we go. I am now... I'm still too... Hmm. Ready to continue. Foose. No. Uh, there we go. Two twenty. But my research will be on the floor. So what do we do? So I want to go here, I go research. And on over here, you set your slider to 100%. We used to backdoor getting research done, but I keep asking for 200. 10. Ten research levels. Ten research levels and so on like this. Yep. 
Yeah, so there's there's a forum thread exactly there. You can see that I'm finishing off all my research this quickly. See there, there's a stack of research flying past. And apotheosis, 10 research levels. I think it'll stop though. Because I don't think I've done AI levels yet, or have I? Yeah, it's stopped. Something else, what do you offer? And I can now go <clears throat> alien levels. Uh, I would like AI 30. I don't think it's done it yet, has it? Ah, oh, yes, it has. Okay. Ask something else. What do you offer? Yeah, because you need AI 30 before you can finish apotheosis. Uh, 10 research levels full. Oof, there we go. So we've now got a 220, AI 30, research, um, whatever it was, but we haven't got any gear. So we can ask now, what else do you offer? Uh, all nano formulas and a nano deck. We click on that. And you can see there in our inventory. There we go. There's the, you get this. All keeper nanos. Right click, and you've immediately got every nano a keeper can have. I'm now going to equip the Stellar Nano deck, which only has a level requirement, doesn't have a skill requirement. Poof, put that on, and you can keep asking him what he offers. Uh, armor. Okay, what armor can I have? Let's have. Alien armor. Uh, I'll have a full set of combined mercenary. Thank you. Quality three hundred. There you go. I've now got a full set of quality three hundred, which I can't put on because I haven't spent any IP yet. As you can see, you can just immediately go and do that. Uh. You don't need that much in it, but I'm just doing it anyway. Um, melee specials, brawl, dimash, fast attack, nano and casting. I think it's suggested. <laughs> you know, and so on and so forth. And you start building up and you go, right, I now need symbionts. Because I haven't got any implants whatsoever. So you go on here and you go, Symbionts. What variety of symbiont would you like? Well, I would like infan infantry. Um, beta set. And I've now got a full set of betas. I would then ask for alphas, uh, a set of 160s. And I would put the 160s in, and then with stat buffing gear put in, you know, the, the betas, and then start swapping the betas out for alphas. And so on. And off you go. Uh, what else do you offer? I think uh, weapons might be a bit of a problem for some of the best in slot now. Uh, you can get the gauntlet buff, full perk reset, basic implants, you know, etc. All the sanctuary keys, all the garden keys, token boards, um, res cans, raid locks. You can, you know, there's, there's a ton of stuff you can get uh, on the test live server. Carl Isis. There's no R in my name. Yeah, it doesn't do the um, Medi Blades either, apparently. So there you go. That's that's how easy it is to go on to test live. So two hours here, um, you can build a, a 220 with pretty much everything and just see how you feel about that particular build. So it is kind of cool. That's test live.
the other NPCs. He's a punch bag, as is this guy. Then you've got Mr. Carlsberg, all the um, quest NPCs that you hand things into. John Smith, you know, for Tara, etc. Um, BS, and then these guys over here. I think I just crashed the client. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Yep, I crashed. Too much run speed, yeah, it could be. Anyway, so yeah, that's Test Live. If you're ever interested in going on Test Live and having to play around, you can uh, you can get a lot done very very quickly. In fact, so you know, however, um, let's log in here. What can we do this evening, Sav? What would you like to do? I've got Dio on this character. I don't know if you've got Dio on any of yours. Yeah, none of the... So, the, there's quite a few rewards in the game that he doesn't have. I wonder if anyone else has got Dio. I'm kind of thinking they probably don't at this point. Also, I'm wondering... Now, yeah, you can tell them on live, because it's laggier and there are people. Doing pandemonium. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. What time are they running pandemonium? Yeah, I, I just never got it done on Sunday, so I've still got it. Um... <clears throat> In 20 minutes. All right. I'm just curious now. Slippers of screaming. What price are they now? Oh, they're still really expensive. <laughs> I thought all the ones that dropped the other night, they'd be cheaper. Blood. Blood soaked cloak. Yep, still really expensive. You guys. It is the Savic. Oh, actually. I think I can get there quicker just waiting this out. Yeah, for research now, after all the massive amounts of XP we got, I've got that to finish off, which I'm not too worried about because it's like fast attack, one hand edged, and combustion. But, you know. Do I even want to do it on this character? Maybe do it on... Well, you've joined on the dock. Maybe come on the... I'll come on the keeper, you know. Easy life. A relog. Come on the keeper. Earn some points. <laughs> Log my, my real 220 keeper. Biodome first and then panned, okay. Well, I'm glad you said that, Savik, otherwise I'd have run directly to Pandemonium. But yeah, we'll go do we'll go do Hodor. Hodor. I bring a useful tune. <clears throat> You're on your dock, I'm imagining they don't need more. So I'll come on the keeper. Now 
Uh, biodome. Where am I going, Sav? From wine, isn't it? Is it the one? Is it the one in wine I want? Biodome one. Or am I thinking of the wrong one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, auto can give you a bunch of buffs as well, like superior first aid, essence of beer, mask, you know, the usual stuff. I'm not in team yet. Raid is running, click to join. Join, go LFT. Probably not the only keeper here, but hey. Oh, I'm in team with Sav. Happy time. <laughs> Don't crash, game. Don't crash. Come on. Yay. Uh, where's the biodome from here? It's that one. There's one. more or less west, isn't it? Just there. Do we have to farm stuff first? Usually you got to farm and get the key cards and all that, don't you? Oh, it's that one. Biodome one. We did all three. Just <laughs> one team from Storm. Watch me get warp now. I didn't get asked if I wanted a warp. It's, it's like, it's Kalos. He'll get here. Don't worry about him. I'm going to get a quick pee, though. Seems we've got ten minutes. Right, I'm back. I think all my buffs are still... Yeah, they've got loads and loads and loads 
of time left on them. Wise guy, FSB, welcome to the stream. I see the brain slug. I've still got dust it off on this tune as well. Yeah, Tab drew you out of lurking. <laughs> Oh, I'm still on new engine, aren't I? I'll be all right. There's not that many of us here that it's going to make, you know, that big of a difference, so... Going to be okay, I think. I lost a bit of gain on this mic. It feels like I have, you know. Could be I've nudged the mixing. Let me just... Right, I just moved the slider on the mixing desk a tiny bit. Make a move it. Oh no, that's too much. Right, that should be a unity gain now. Everyone in the server had to buy on. <laughs> yeah, crash the new engine. I think I'm in the raid. Just double check. You are already in the raid. Uh, how are we doing here? Yeah, I got outbid last night on the invasion plans, but I was kind of expecting it. Um, I keep missing out on the one... Well, the raid that gets you the most is on Sunday before Sector 42, when you do... Uh, I panned and then real panned. That's a lot of uh, points, really. Biodome, beware the new place where frame rates go to die. Could be. Yeah. Uh, one more point than I have, so I'm assuming they bid quite a bit more. Maybe they bid 10k straight away, because I bid, it was going for like 5k, and I thought, ooh, I'm in with a chance here. So I bid maximum and put in, you know, 9440, and it immediately went to 9441, and then no one else bid. So if it hadn't been for the one person bidding, other than me, I'd have won. I don't think anyone else actually was bidding. I was in with a bit of a chance, seeing as we're, there was only 12 of, 12 of us uh, uh, at uh, East. No, frame rate ICC will always be where frame rates go to die. Unless you run DG Voodoo on the old engine and then it doesn't. But they definitely drop. It just DG Voodoo, you're running around with 200 frames a second, so dropping down to like 80 is... Yeah, okay then. Really, internally, the engine's only managing 40, but with DG Voodoo, you get 80 on screen. Don't feel bad, Carl. I didn't want... I got one on the dock, and I could have gone on the keeper that day and got it on the keeper, but... I felt like it, the dock would make more benefit of it, so yeah, it's just one of those. The incessant chirping of things. I don't know about you guys, but it sounds really loud to me. <laughs> really loud to me. <laughs> Yeah, echoes. Mm. 
Brad Zayo going to make a drink every day. Hydrate for 100. Probably a good idea if you do. My org president won three ACDCs in a row. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Well, it is flat rolled as well, isn't it? So that's pretty lucky. It sounds like frogs in a swamp. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing as well. It's like an underlying constant rip, 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 rip. and then the occasional longer one over the top always remain, reminds me of when a vampire strikes back when he goes to Dagova you got three and you're like rigged yeah yeah flat roll is weird Sometimes it can feel like it is partially rigged, but it's not. It's not. It's just good old look at the draw. Yes, it is. Was it more exciting on, on Test Live for everyone, was it? <laughs> like, ooh, what does this do? Ooh, new stuff. No, Test Live is great. Um, we were all over there. Figuring out how the hell to do bio, uh, not bio, how to do um, the new subway when it opened. Because it opened on test live before it went to the live server. You said it as a joke, did you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we, we've seen that before. We For a while, we thought uh, the guild bot was sort of broken. As in, it was um, for whatever reason. Whoever did the role, if their name was in the role, they won. So if you went random, name, 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 your name always won. <laughs> we thought it was just that, and then someone else did it, and it didn't. And we went, oh, just a run of random luck kind of thing, you know. have many things on this tune except for an ACDC oh I keep forgetting I need to pass these sleeves uh, to back to my mule somehow I sort of overlooked them the last time I was playing with them There's 300 sleeve here everybody's run that way why Have people gone off to farm? <laughs> it's kind of constant, that chirping and chirruping. Yeah, half the zone is a swamp, yeah. We've come to Biodome 2. Why is we at Biodome 2 now? Are we splitting? I 
last one here is an Aatrox. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Was decided to nuke themselves. Yeah, basically don't aggro the turrets. It's I think it's basically the same. Pew pew pew, don't aggro turrets. Turrets are so fun, yeah. Eighty-eight diner. Yeah, it doesn't take long to take him down with just one team. With, the, well, three teams, it's going to be pretty easy. Are we trading yet? Or? Target is already in trade. One is for you, Miss Timmy. <laughs> yeah. Security bash, research tome, do... Equipped. Yeah, this is when we did it last, I stood here as well. I did it on the dock to get the, uh, the Jathos armor. Which I'm guessing is why most people actually come in, so... My, don't forget to put it in HUD 1 Mines, in HUD 3. I just put it in 1 because I've only got that in HUD 1 at the moment, so... As long as I've got um, Stellar Deck and that, I'm quite happy. Always good. I'm still waiting for the first Londis um, stream so I can raid it. No pressure. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, Jeff's also Kurgan's, yeah. It's all about that percentage heal. Because there's no cap. I want the sleeves from the subway, but they're so damn rare. down like a sack of spuds. <laughs> you have no choice, you will die. Basically, yeah. Last time we were here was just, yeah, well, someone mentioned that to me as well. We could do it with a few more people for the, like, Saturday and Sunday. Um, there's there's kind of, like, plenty of people. Um, but, <clears throat> uh, like, the midweek, some of them, can, sometimes it can be quite quiet. Do they do more than one, or just, just the one? Twenty-five minutes, isn't it? You can get two done with that. Oh, we're meant to be in there. Okay. Just one and then pandemonium. I'll, I'll hang around out of respect. Instead of scarpering off. For Jathos, plate helmet. And with with a quick upgrade. Rather nice, to, uh, rather nice armor. <clears throat> I think I've got most of a full set except for sleeves. On on my dock, anyway. It is better one once you've upgraded it with the um, do do hickeys from DB two. Uh, DB one rather. I think usually it's the chest, gloves, uh, boots and pants people go for, isn't it? If not a complete set. Pattern for indomit... Domit... Indomit... Domit... Indomit... Indomitable... God, why can't I say that word? Indomitable life. <laughs> MB bat. Yeah, I've got the... What have I got on mine? I'm trying to think. I think the helmet. Yeah, helmet, chest, gloves, boots and pants I've got on the dock. I don't know what Savick wears. No Savick wears any of it. Let's have a look. Inspect Savick's tune. And, nope, Savik doesn't. <laughs> she has the Merc armor. Oh, you got two bloodless sleeves. Yeah. I would say they are harder to get. And don't forget you can get the other armor from, uh, 
from the subway, which is actually pretty good anyway. It it doesn't have as good as stats as the Jathos or what or the um, Kurgans, but yeah. But five percent per sleeve on a dock is amazing. Well, I don't actually need anything, so I'm gonna beacon. Beacon my way to pandemonium. Well, <clears throat> near as damn it. Yeah, I'd love a pair of bloodless sleeves on the dock. I mean, I'm I'm quite pleased with that dock as it is, but um, yeah, having I don't know, having the sleeves as well would be uh, would be pretty amazing actually. Just saying, need a lot of one hand blunt to hold your weapons out of OE. Yeah, on the dock, yeah. Wise guy FSB, if only there were some pistols for a proper dock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stop picking on Savik. It's bad enough when Mihalik does it. But Mihalik just generally doesn't like melee, so, you know. One hand blunt does more DPS. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, go sit in the lava. Oh, that was annoying as <laughs> hell. All hell, that was. <clears throat> Prepare to die, creepy spider. Ooh. Maybe put my hood back in. Is it a lot more DPS is itself? <laughs> if only I could hold the bar hold the pistols by the barrels and pistol whip all the mobs. Yep, that would work. <laughs> Probably would. Nothing good on there. One hand blunt weapons have higher mid damage than pistols have the max damage, yeah. It does all balance out a little easier with pistols, I'm not going to lie, because the intelligent support symbionts like the wrist, hand, etc do have a pistol burst and multi-range in them so it, it, it does make them um a little easier to get in and and deal with plus one of them gives you an extra five percent um heal which is like that was once i realized there was no um cap on percent heal i was like well i want all the percent heal then uh so yeah yeah when when you can't actually get into 
range, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, he, he pays you money, he makes you choice. Where the hell is the... Going the wrong way. How, how long have I got before pandemonium? Yeah, I mean, all options are viable. Thing is, with uh, Doctor, you're never going to be, like, top DD. You know, you'd have to be chain casting your dots uh, on every single mob in a swarm of mobs. But usually when you're in a swarm of mobs, what's happening is everybody else is taking them down in seconds, so... He won the, <laughs> he won the ruin. Rai Rai Huen. For glumpants, yeah, figures. We'll kill this diner just while we're waiting to run into Pand. Dotted him. See if we can get away from all the annoying big mesh mobs. Is he, it's going to be he's the only one that didn't follow. Or did he? It's not I can't handle the damage of the other mobs. They're just annoying. You can't bloody see anything. <clears throat> Last time you look... I think they're no drop, aren't they? say I'm sure it's a no drop so yeah we'll be all right we'll get to pandemonium right after this mob all be good oh the pattern is a yeah all oh, right okay Guess they were the only MP there that needed it. I think when I did it on the MP, I had to ask, <laughs> does anyone want to go get me this pattern? Uh, uh, in Storm, I think it was. You are already in the raid. Yes, and I'll be, I won't be late. I'm just killing this mob just to see if it will drop something. I was trying to count um, from this you know the the vod but i think about 12 pairs of slippers and the same in um, excaliburs and um, blood soap clo cloaks all dropped from the turrets at the alien raid Oh my, oh yeah, the Carlo, yeah. Found it yourself, took like four, five or six times to get it. It's a pain in the butt, but then your Engie just strolls into Pand and buys the chicken. Yeah, exactly. Slightly imbalanced there, I feel. I mean, can you buy it from the Greedy Shade? Possibly. No, he doesn't sell it, right. And you're going to raid Pand as well, Savik, or...? If 
fabulous screen with a bunch of big things on it. They're so annoying these. They don't they don't hit this tune, but Vest of Torpid Sunrays. 25 stamina on it though. And it's a yes drop. That's not bad. That's actually useful. <laughs> Happy I was able to buy Carlo from a friend before the prices went crazy. I can't remember how I got him on uh, Fatty Balls. I think maybe I did buy him. Oop, stepping in two minutes. Well, I'll be there. Yes, I will. Fear not. We will get there. Panned with three teams should be pretty much a walkthrough, I think. I don't know. You never know. Yeah, that's actually fairly useful. If you've got a tune that's a bit low and they're uh, MP, NT, Dr. Crat, Trader or Rengi, that could be quite useful. Just as a piece of twinking armour. It's a shame it's got class locks on it. But, hey, Shadowlands, isn't it? Yes. Gouter's great plan. Gouter! <laughs> Protect the trader at all cost. I'm bring a trader if you want. I'd have to inv inv join him to a uh, thing as well, but yeah. I heard my name but didn't catch what you said. Oh, I asked if you were doing um, hand as well. Dog, doggy, dog man has followed. Well, thank you for the follow. Thirty. I can recast. I don't think I honestly need to, but I can. Staff, but pro. Okay. No, you will enter now. I think I was doing this one. Even at full ag, that still takes forever to cast that. I'm not rebuffing then. Thank you. 
kill all the things. <clears throat> yeah, some of the prices on GMI though were kind of nuts. Uh, I, can, I can understand people like complaining at the credit prices. You know, like, how much for a simple thing I played, you know, 15 years ago and it only cost, you know, a million, two million, and now it costs two or three billion. You know, they probably logged in and to their old accounts or they had like um, maybe a billion on a, between a few tunes and thought oh yeah this is going to be great and then went to GMI went what the <laughs> I get it I, I totally get it simple thing is buy a Grace from Funcom and then sell it on GMI that, that's what you want to do that's the trick is it a little dark? It looks a little dark to me on stream. Let's um, boost the gamma up a little bit. There we go. Leo's faithful boots of ancient gold. Oh well, 600 ACs all, all over. And then you go on Discord and ask why the number is red and it says you don't have enough to complete the transaction. Yeah. <clears throat> we need to speak to Andy about adding an FAQ and integrating it with... Um, to links with, uh, you know, like AO Universe or something like that. You know, like um, there's like a bot, you know, guild bot type integration. Ends Lyric, welcome to the stream. Yes, we're in pandemonium, as you can see. We're doing a bit of Hodor Monday. When I go the right way around the wall. Savick said, well, you could do this this evening. Started off with just explaining how to get things done on um, on Test Live, which is quite funny. And then people went, are you making the Enforcer now? Are you making <laughs> Any time they see me in, re in a re... Are you making a new tune? No. <laughs> Not yet. Typically, I'll do that as a... Um, a regular Let's Build episode. Because I have a... Well, I've had one comment where they were saying much as the streams are cool and that, they prefer the kind of slick, edited 45-minute um, video format. So only only the good bits are in the, uh, in the video. None of the uh, mucking around kind of thing. Frame rate is not the best on the new engine, but it seems solid enough to be honest. Arrived a bit late home, just passing by to say hello to buddies. Why not? Let's have some Rubicar light or turn global lighting off. Sometimes it's actually brighter in here when you do that. Panned raid with uh, ray tracing. Mm. 
that's going to tank your frame rate <laughs> just a bit. Cancer's ring of circumspection. And go. Add energy damage 25, add rad damage 25. Bit of old school gear, but yeah, still quite nice. Mid, follow tank, use walls. Yep, far less ads if you use the walls. This is always the tricky bit though. Getting over that. Once you're over that, dead easy. Maybe I should have come on the Advi then, I could have uh, maybe got a Pandemonium Dojo. With iPand, if you win the bid on something, can you run an alt in to loot it? I don't know what the rules are for that. Curious minds wish to know. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna hold anybody up running in iPad running to the beast on a 220, is it? He's just gonna blitz his way there, no problem. I think he's already dead. Cosmic Guide of the Pisces. Level 175, Dimash and Cents. Dimash 1500 cents from a thousand. Quite a few evades and such on it. Critical increase for one, but it's a head. It's not actually terrible that, you know. Yeah, every time someone sells a grace for the first time, how do I... Why is my thing blah, 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 you know? <laughs> I can't use GMI. What do I do? All right, create a bunch of buy orders. Or... Oh, oh. The whole process would be a lot simpler if they just raised the limit. But... He didn't think they will. As far as I understand it, you could only have one billion on a character and it was to do with the coding of the game only being 32-bit, but I'm quite sure how that works. I, I don't know enough about coding to know for sure one way or the other. Is the stream okay for everyone? I'm, I'm streaming at 8,000k instead of 6. Try and get you guys a little better quality. I mean... 8 is the same as, um, oh no, it's 12 on YouTube for a 1080p60 video. Looks good to you. Well, that's what we like. I'm sure the bottle will only be 6 anyway. I don't know. I'm not sure how Twitch deals with it. 
when I clicked on it to check it, it seemed okay. Yes, I got aggro. <laughs> Seven nine twenty one. Atanis Fixer. Nice to see you. Welcome on in. That's me in the bottom left there. Being the streamist. <coughs> it took five goes to get um, transcoding for everyone, but I think it's worth it. You know, if it, uh, if it looks okay. Santa Claus, yeah. With the white beard. <laughs> I get that a lot. First creation of Sagittarius. Not a bad little item. Complete. Intelligence, psychic, etc. Yes, I get I get compared to Santa Claus, Papa Smurf. Uh, there was a really random one last night, but <laughs> I'm okay with it. I know lumberjack, um, Moses. I think I think we've covered most people with a big beard at this point. Yeah, <laughs> Papa Smurf, yeah, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Mind you, Papa Smurf, his beard is kind of, he doesn't have the moustache, does he? So he's sort of like, um, looks a bit, looks a bit Amish. Like, like he arrived in a horse-drawn buggy. You know what, I'd, I'd kind of love, love to, like, live in a Amish community, you know, like for like six months just to see what life is like for them, you know away from all the technology and everything. But to really experience it, you'd have to experience it for, you know, like an extended period of time, not just like a weekend or something. You get your fit anyway, because everybody works, don't they? Oh, he does have a moustache, okay. Yeah, Captain Birdseye. Well, the old Captain Bird's eye, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I haven't looked at the Smurfs since the 70s or whenever it was they came out. That would have been the last time I ever looked at them. When I was a little kid. Which, obviously, is quite a long time ago. You would think. Leave no witnesses. <laughs> I love it. The Nightheart, you only make me more mad. Yeah, um, Space Quest spawned the Nightheart as well at the um, Inferno Alien Event Raid. The Amish have the best no GMO food. It's a great secret, yeah. Yeah, if I turned up there, they'd all be looking at me weird. What's this? <laughs> Why you have this? Well, you would have to hold your breath for a while if you were there. To look like a smurf, yeah, to get that blue. Yep, I get it. Blue belt of double... Prudence. Nice. Intelli belt. That isn't blue until you upgrade it, but it's always been called the blue belt. 
That was a. Uh, I think it's always been called blue. Soto Mohoney, hello from Omni Three. Everyone, everyone, quiet. It's the Omni Spy. Apparently, things are stirring in the roleplay community. And even an <laughs> an actor, an actor with malice, has surfaced again. Apparently, I wasn't there. I only heard. Pants says he is home. Have you been trying to get home all day or something? Yeah, I think I'd like to get a burden for the Advi. Just because. You know, reasons. That's if it even drops and I don't get outbid, because I'd rather keep the... Um, I think I'd rather keep the points for a ACDC. See how much it goes for anyway. Our raid commands are getting progressively weirder tonight. <laughs> festival all weekend all oh, right there was a something on saturday um you know in ao that was a, a role play thing i only know because i was trying to ask space quest if um you know were aliens on that night for sure or you know what what was the story kind of thing and um he said yep yeah, I'll be about an hour. I'm just doing this roleplay bit in Omniland. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, but everyone liked the Inferno alien event. It wasn't laggy even. Like everyone had pretty good frame rate. There wasn't any lag entering and, and whatnot because all the entrances are miles away from uh, from where the raid took place. So the people just like, I'm just going to zone in and get the XP. When all hanging around the Wampers or whatever. And because it's a large area, it actually holds multiple clients a lot better as well. So it was just good all round really. Plus, the loot was nuts. <laughs> Renaissance Festival. What is the Re Renaissance Festival there? Never been. Don't think I've read much about it. Or seen or heard much about it, for that matter. Is it a thing? What loot did you get? What did I get? I got... Um, well, he spawned Zal in Inferno, and it sent the server message out for, for Zal. Uh, that Zal had appeared in South, you know, Southern Artery Valley South, not our Savic, because that would be weird, and Savic would explode. Um, and I told him, I said, look, the, the message has gone out across the whole server that um, Zal has spawned, so at the end of Inferno, he, he went to Southern Artery Valley and spawned Zal. <laughs> where Zal is supposed to be uh, on top of that little pyramid actors acting in the setting of the 1500s oh the, the renaissance the renaissance yes when we all started paying a tent with lots of alcohol music and food that sounds awesome that was in an episode of Bones wasn't it Oh no, it was... No, I'm thinking of... Um, 
Big Bang Theory, they all go, and Sheldon only agrees to go if he can go as Spock, investigating a primitive species on a planet. <laughs> They're all in, like, the proper gear, except for um, Sheldon, who is dressed as Spock, and going, scanning everybody. It's really funny. I couldn't tell you what the episode number was or whatever, but it's in there. If you, if you flick through on um, Netflix and just read the synopsis at the bottom, you'll find it. It's, like, it's, it's in like second or third season. You know, it's a few seasons in, I think. But it's one of my favourites. Because they, they don't want to go paintballing anymore, so they end up going to a Renaissance festival. I know what it is now. You know, the guys are all like, oh yeah, you know, mead and minstrels and yay, this is cool. You know, and, and Sheldon's there dressed exactly like Spock. Going, hmm. <laughs> Go every year for one weekend. Sounds really cool. Tavern wenches. Bar. Get run about. Rock Reminder! Some people go every weekend it's open, but that's too much for me. Since I don't LARP. Live action roleplay. That's easy, I knew what it was! Do you get dressed for it, sort of thing? Or do you just go in, like, you know, 20th century clothing? Or 21st century, as we are now. I keep forgetting that, you know, and it's been 20 years. We have some costumes to blend in, but it was like 100 degrees this year, so we didn't. Yeah, come on. Temperature is a little bit crazy then, yeah, you've got to, well, more than anything, you've got to be, you know, sensible and safe, haven't you? You know, you can't, no, oh, I'm going to wear my fur skin and blah, 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 and then pass out from heat stroke. Yeah, it's not a good idea, is it? You know. Waiting for the spawns, I'm not seeing them. My tights would have been okay, but the top layers would have killed me. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I can imagine the thing. Okay, ads have spawned. Where's the pink? There isn't a pink. Okay. Now we got the pinks. Double spawn. So fast on damage you get the double spawn effect. One after the other. Mud shovel, old player returning. Welcome back to Rubica. Question: What do you want to know, Britain citizen? <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? I started the keeper to relearn the game. Is that truck still okay to equip everything at 220? Yeah, easier on Solitus, but yeah, this this is a keeper I'm playing just now. No, you won't. Here's my nano pool. There you go. <laughs> it's all the way down there. 
you're not come you only run into nano pool issues um if you're always casting but if you're um on a keeper it's like buff and go there's very few situations where you need to be recasting things um like one end game fight I can think of which is Eumenides where the keeper needs to recast ward but if you've got um, P and H you know a, a note and buff that fills up your uh, nano pool uh, and cost then yeah we should be okay Oop. Yeah, I'm outbid. I'm not bidding more than a thousand, though. Too too much to lose. Kind of fancied a, a burden on the um, <laughs> did, yeah. This, this is a bit rich for my blood. I wouldn't have minded that for a burden on the Advi. You don't bid on the Bok on Hodor. <clears throat> yeah, turn on the mini toolbar, F10, which when you first hit it will be small, like this. When you first press F10, you'll get like that. So just expand it a bit like this, like you do in Windows. Click on GUI, Control Center, and then down here, mini toolbar. And then you get this bit over here. Then you can turn off all the... I mean, I use a third-party skin, but you can turn off all the crap. <laughs> you know, like the wings, which do literally nothing but take up screen space. If you're neutral, you can raid with all people. Yes, that's true. But you won't have uh, token boards and such. Yeah, this is a keeper here obviously in the keeper armor really easy to get to grips with really strong survivability all the way through uh, I've got a 220 Atrox keeper the only thing that is harder end game is putting your alpha symbionts in that that's literally you know you just have you'll just have more HP I mean this one's got with buffs and such, 37k. You'll have less than that if you're neutral because you won't have token board like this. You can see there that adds 3.5k. But if you're clan or omni, you get a token board and there you go. Although you can get um, the upgrade token board from uh, 12 man and other places this is all end game kind of stuff then you can use one of those it's not quite as good though yeah if you clan you'll get one of these sigil of samil and who is samil lucifer yes well if you watch the show lucifer <laughs> yeah it is good you can see there it's got some acs and stuff on it versus one of these uh, 3,500 health and nano. This is like the top, top tier board. It's the Awakened Combat Program board. Uh, 100 add all def, add all off for 150. 270 to comp lit nano programming, 350 run speed. 
Add damage, 65, you know, so it is it is a little bit better. Yeah, with Pyramid, this is the the Awakened one, which is the Pyramid of Home. And Sabic has returned. Right, I'm going to... you? Yeah, I should have come on the Advi and um, done the daily. But never mind. You're an old schooler, you'll remember this place. Broken Shores. Pre Shadowlands, where everybody used to level up to 200. <laughs> Painfully slowly. This is like the most populated clan city, which is Old Athen. Always a bunch of people here. <clears throat> yeah, you get the healing efficiency. You get it on here as well. It's not much. I know it's different on this one. This one has the other thing. So crit for two, uh, nano damage efficiency for two. So the other one's slightly better for healer. Did they do another raid after this, Sam, or is it that's it for Monday night with Hodor? That's it for them for the today. Yeah, Savik's dock is neutral. That was Savik we were there with just now. So yeah, that's definitely a thing. I'm going to get a little bit of water. I won't be a sack. As poor Omnis are the ones discriminated against, apparently. <laughs> Compromise. Yeah, this is so. Th this um, this keeper sort of pretty much maxed out. Just needs an ACDC and call it done. Uh, they've got all the kind of nice toys and everything, but yeah, keeper's really good. Um, especially if you want to go and kill big stuff somewhere. Compromise is your dock. 
Oh, gaily painted hood. Old school. Oh, and shotties as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got some of the older stuff on, but... Yeah, it's still, still viable. Need the new uh, token board and stuff. And... Symbionts. <laughs> Ear and thigh. Yeah. Being came back a month, a year ago, right? Are hey, your gears okay? I remember when everybody used shotguns, though. Oh uh, yeah, I I got a terrible habit of uh, <laughs> borrowing gear off one tune to another. Trying to relearn the game. Yeah, relearning on a dock at 220 could be problematic because you're going to get people... Like, you're going to show up at raids and people are going to expect you to be able to deal with it, you know? Have I crashed on logging out? Oh my God. The engine is having a bad day today. Dear me. Yeah, if you start off with a new character... Uh, it's easiest to learn, relearn the game that way. So here's my doc. When did I make him? Beginning of the year? It was, wasn't it? It was the beginning of the year, February, I think. Yep, I crashed. Yeah, this is my doc. Fine figure of a man, as you can tell. Does need a lot of attention, yeah. So gear-wise, he's now using... Um, I've got the combat paragon. I should have the other one, really. Uh, so, yeah, the enhanced Jathos armor, apart from the sleeves, which are commando. New piece of gear, which is the operative covering. Uh, his rings, uh, HUD items, yeah, he's got the ACDC, Stellar Nano Deck, Ancient Restorative Fungus, which is another 5%, and Creator Module, which is handy, Nano, Eye of the Zion, which is more Nano Skill, the two Doctor Pistols, um, how, how draw, and Durolf's belt, which is nice, I think. Uh, the massive NCUs, the ones that give 192 NCU each. Calmedic. It's a Welsh name. It's the Welsh word for doctor or medic. Calm Eddie G. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Daddy G. <laughs> yeah. Cal. And then two Ds together is is the bastardization of Welsh because the English didn't have a single letter for th in Welsh, so they put two Ds together instead. And then Y is I most of the time. It's I and E, depending on context in Welsh. So it's Cal Methig. It was Mahalik that suggested it. I thought it was a really good idea. Yeah, the gaily painted hood, which gives... Can't remember now. Everybody wanted one, I remember that. Yeah, like 15 to nano skills. Whereas now you can get that, which gives 50, or the Eye of Zion, which gives 65. It's kind of nuts. Um, and then nano cast... A for Solitus is 50%. So that's why I don't even have a compiler. Because there's no point. Might as well just have that. Pioneer Backpack, yeah. It's because on a Pioneer Backpack, you have the one thing you can't get in a back slot from anything else. And it's the 150 to tutoring. So people who make low-level twinks really want it. So they can get bigger uh, NCU belts and NCUs on. 
Yeah, it should be worth a grace or so. And then you definitely want your stellar nano deck. You've got that one, but yeah, you need to get the rest of it. Um, then you'll be good. And then shotgun. Well, if you want to, you want to go that route, but kind of useless in Shadowlands unless you've got a hell of a lot of crit. Yeah, I sold mine years ago for like three billion then, because I needed the money for a tune. And since then, somebody donated theirs to me. Said, "Here, take it." <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> Well, if you want to go for maximum um, healing efficiency, that's the Doctor's right hand of grace. So minimum damage 260 to 365 um, gives you nano, but also gives you healing efficiency for 5%. And then the right hand, nano cost minus 3, nano delta, and the same damage, basically. So you've got burst fling, and you're quite fast. It's quite easy to be 1-1. One, one. And six second on burst. A Tannis Fixer redeemed hydrate. I shall. I shall hydrate for you. If you do it twice in a row, you only get one. Just saying. <laughs> you can have a gargle for that, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> That's meant to be good for the larynx. Yes. Um, it feels it, yeah. So with all those, then you get your DB quest nanos, like this heal, improved life channeler, uh, which gives everybody health for 3,000 and something, and the healing is way higher once you've got the percentage nano gear uh, healing efficiency. So... Uh, the helmet gives plus plus one, plus one, you know, so if I check my overall stats, like so, and we scroll down to somewhere down here. Where the hell is it? I've lost it now. Oh, heal... Reactivity? The 100. Is that the one I need to be looking at? I always forget. Heal, interval, delta amount, modifier, there you go, 161% stronger heals. So yeah, that means when I'm healing, my heal, every heal I cast is, is way stronger. Which definitely, definitely helps. Yeah, exactly with um, Vitae plan. So that's your proc. So we've got there. And usually just antiseptic on the other one. Not sure what you actually... That's a Vitae plan. Offensive proc. Yeah, 25% on top of what you've already got. So when that actually fires, uh, and it does a lot, um, your healing is redonkulous. And then gear, full set of um, alphas all on support but when you make a support wrist the beta doesn't have any pistol in it or burst or multi-range but when you make it into an alpha you get burst um pistol run speed and multi-range for 87 the left wrist similar story you get multi-range for 144 
right hand then suddenly gets 58 to burst, 87 to fling shot and 87 to pistol. Right arm, not so much, but you do get add all death, which is nice. So it kind of all balances out with uh, support. Good night, Savik. Thank you for coming along to the stream. Always a pleasure to see you. Team with you and raid with you as always. That's like my single direct heal. Which can go higher than that as well. Um, if the player I'm directing the heal at has got HUDs for heal reactivity. That fungus is pretty useful straight away. 5% uh, efficiency and 10% nano cost. So, pretty bloody useful, really. There's some sleeves that are better, though. They've got, um, oh, what is it? Yeah, 5% per sleeve heal uh, efficiency. So you're healing 5% more. Yeah, that's it. a lot of people at 220 will kind of expect you to come geared like this with, you know, that much healing advantage. So suddenly turning up at 220 and being 12 years out of date is going to feel like oh crap you know whereas if you start on something like a keeper if if you screw up at level 50 in the temple nobody cares do you know what i mean <laughs> and by the time you get that tune to like 200 ish um then yeah then then you're really cooking And it's the way memory works. If you go back to the things you did at the very beginning, um, you are going to remember more and remember more quickly all the stuff you've forgotten. It's just how it works. Just the way memory seems to work. So, yeah, there you go. But, yeah, Doc is awesome. It's a lot of fun. Um... Plus, your DB quest nanos will give you things like that. Rather nice, you know, improved instinctive control. So that's an additional 350 to nano in it. 75 nano resist. Max nano for 300. Nano delta 65. And an additional 200. Just makes you much harder to debuff in raids and such. Never forget, Omnitech is your friend. Yes, that's special, friend. Yeah, you see with this Omnimed enhancement. Nice little hot there. Omnitech Protect. Apparently there's some shenanigans in... Um... <laughs> oh, God. Who knows what's going on? So, yeah, there's loads of new stuff that's come into the game. Uh, over the last 10 years so you can't be expected to just come back and be up to speed straight away because you know you can't it take ages to get like um the condemned bulwark i would love on my dock savik's got it on her dock um i've got one on my keeper but that adds more healing efficiency it's like one of the best back armor items in the game kind of deal so yay cool beans and all that Right, I think I shall I think I shall log for the evening. Do you know what else I've been playing a bit on the side? Is I've been having a bit of a play at um you can tell when I put my monitor <laughs> I go to Google on my monitor like I go to Google on my monitor like I Yep, and you get the echo, but then also you get the um the super bright white light all over your face kind of thing. Um, yeah, I've been messing around with Skyrim again. Not seriously, but if you want, we can have a quick look at that just before I go. I'll show you where I'm up to. I've been I, I really wanted to play the new, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Legend of the Dragonborn, but the new version, it is awesome. <laughs> it's so well done. Let's have a quick look. Totally not Anarchy Online, but just, just for a look-see. 
It modded to hell and back, by the way. This is not vanilla Skyrim. By any stretch of the imagination. I'll just show you the museum quickly. God, it feels weird coming out of AO and then into Skyrim. Todd Howard is your friend. We're going to need 16 times the detail. Um... That's better. I cured Serana. She is cured. She's no longer a vampire. Yeah, this is the new museum. Not the one that was in my playthrough of it. So I created a new character for it. I've been quite busy. I mean, I've got a hell of a lot of stuff already. So much more. There's so much in the game, though. It's nuts. But it's not been a serious playthrough by any stretch of the imagination. It's uh, it's pretty kind of, yeah, whatever. Just having a little bit of fun kind of thing, you know. Um, What have I done? I've done the Civil War. I've done both DLCs. Built a couple of houses. And done no the... Fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Josh, who's moaning? Best companion in any any shape or form is Inigo. I am here for you. This place smells of coin and good taste. He's always got something if you interesting need to else, say. Just ask. He's got his own little quest as well. Inigo is just like <laughs> the most amazing um, companion mod I've ever seen in my life. Good day. He. he he has so much situational awareness in his AI, it's incredible. Oh, Master, it's your time to do it as you please. Pardon me. What about those who depend on you so much? Go away. <laughs> That's worse than the fan. That's a bit dark. Night vision. Yes. Yeah, I've got absolutely stacks of mods, so yeah. Uh, have I got any quests written? Read the translated Falmer book. Has he done it already? Uh, let's have a look. No. Almost as good. Oh, God, he's incredible. Inigo is just amazing. If you only ins ever install one follower mod, install Inigo. He's just like it doesn't matter what you do in the game if you're like if you do like a sneaky assassin playthrough he's still your best mate if you're the you know um bastion of uh, good taste and, and all that is decent he's also your friend you know he he just he fits in with you really well his kind of backstory thing is he thinks you're someone that he murdered that's come back to kill him um, so yeah. You could use a bit more art on these walls, I think. Yeah, so he's situationally aware. He knows you haven't got all the paintings or whatever. This is the guild house where you know you sit and eat and all the rest of it. Um, yeah. So what was? The, read the translated Falmer book. I don't think he's translated it yet, though, has he? Yeah, another mod I added was you, know, you can put on as many enchantments as you want on any item. So I put on all of them. <laughs> that one's just got. <laughs> and then did the um, oh, the enchanting um, and alchemy loop. So you end up with stuff like, there you go, fortify enchanting 30 odd percent and then you make <laughs> 45 smithing weapons and armor improving is 404 percent better for 30 seconds <laughs> just nuts sending me here but that's sending me back out i don't think he's translated it yet has he Good day, friend. who was doing the translating Farewell. yes 
Uh, I think we've had this conversation. Nice all of this, all of this, all of this now is a mod. See you around. Yes. Okay, I think I've got to do some waiting, so... We'll do it the old way. Uh, is it, I'm not doing like a serious playthrough, I'm just cacking about. remember who had that book. Right, oh, anything new for oh me? Yes, I have in fact been researching the location of an artifact of interest. If you have the time, you could investigate it. I know where I'll that is. Location on your map. Let me know if you uncover I hear Starfield is the AO killer MMO. Yeah, like all the others were. What time is it? I haven't seen the sky all day. I know where that skull is. That's uh, in, um, what's the name of it? Solstein, I think. I'm almost certain. Yeah, it is. I'm sure it is. Or in a cave. Anywhere, just out of this. Oh, part of this mod, if you, you get a skyship. Which is an amazing skyship, like as a player home as well. Solstheim. Uh, it's got a raven rock. Yeah, Starfield looks pretty interesting, but I think it's still a single player game. I'll play it. I'll probably do a let's play of it, but... Um, yeah, as far as I know, it's a single player game. I hate Solstein. <laughs> that dragon. Gotcha. Shall we engage or try to ignore them? This bow is so overpowered now, it's redonkulous. See what I mean? <laughs> if you need a ride back to the main, kind of a a ridiculously risky shot at that range, but managed not to kill anyone. Where the hell did it come down anyway? Obey our law. I think that's him over here. I'm just going to stand here and be epically awesome, absorbing a, a dragon soul. And he goes, got quite a few um, comments about that as well. Like, dragon soul smell. And if you kill the dragon quickly, he says things like, are you finished showing off then? Right. The... Skull is... Cabal Barrow. I'm sure that's up north somewhere here. Oh, no, it's here. Okay. I thought it was the big troll thing. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Shut up, Mona. She's all right. I quite like Serana. Quite a tragic story with her if you sort of do all the conversation with her. So, somebody somewhere inside of here. I thought I'd picked it up, but clearly not.
while we're here. Do a bit of excavating. Wouldn't you rather relax in a nice inn? Come on, let us go. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, if you're out riding on horseback with him, he starts singing various uh, tunes to the uh, various sort of words and limericks and stuff to um, the, sound, the theme of rawhide. And when you're not expecting it, it's really quite funny. Scary volcano. Right, so we got the thing. We've got the thing. Let's get back on the airship. Yeah, the inside of the uh, Deva Vesa is kind of amazing. Most of the ones I've seen before are nothing like as big or as cool looking as this. It's like a complete player home. You know, Alchemy Lab, Disenchanting, Arcane. A galley. All of this. And you've got like a um, loot and craft loot, sort of. Fate card collection. <laughs> you can do everything here. This is just a conveyance. It's got the engine room and all that. Place for um, all your crafting gear. And it all interlinks with um, everything else. And you don't have to use it either. You get it um, from one of the many quests inside of um, Legacy of the Dragon Ball. It's an amazing, amazing mod. And it's way beyond, you know, what most mods are capable of. Go back to Solitude and give Arian his thing. Yeah, Starfield is supposedly coming out this year, but I foresee it not coming out this year. Because they're not releasing any sort of in-game stuff. All they're doing is... Um, artists renditions and stuff like that at the moment so it kind of feels like i don't think they've got it sussed yet how did you get in front of me yes you do um right okay so the same reader book saying i'll put it palma tome is that it's not translated, is it? It says read the translated tome. It's not translated. Who do I give it to to translate it? Good day, friend. Good to see you again. I found the skull. Ah, splendid. Nice find, my friend. Here's a little something for your efforts. I'll go ahead and display it. I am standing in the home of a hero. Oh, you're here. Okay, we've done all that. Who's going to do the translating? Yes. No. See you around. It's got to be one of them. I don't know how I'm getting the book translated. How can this one end? Going to hunt showdown a bit with my friends. Okay. <laughs> See you later, Enzel Eric. We were about to end the stream and I just decided I'd faff about with this five minutes and it's becoming longer than five minutes at this point I might have to refer to Google for this because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do I thought maybe just wait and one of them already had the tome and they were going to translate it but now I'm not so sure got no clues here trial of Triniac read the translated Falmer book Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to gonna have to resort to Google here. <laughs> Try the Trinimac. Okay, so I'm just looking on on here now. Speak to the members on uh, read the translated Falmer book. Oh. While you were unconscious, Latorian Cree made sure the Falmer book was translated to 
Forbidden Law. Read it. Ah, right. So it's a different book. Forbidden Law. Oh, yeah, I've got Chrome open, haven't I? Close the browser. Slows everything else down. Does Chrome on this system. The harmony of... Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. And then... A bunch of numbers. I think I remember what this is from the last time, but maybe not. Discuss the book with Cree. Okay, we shall do so. I think this is the final quest you get. I'm not sure. I mean, it's got never-ending radiant ones until you've collected every item in the game, which is basically impossible, I think. So what do you well, make of the book? It obviously has the prophetic overtones of a saviour called the Deathweaver, rising up to redeem the Falmer and conquer the world of men. Obviously, the Falmer really know how to hold a grudge, but who can blame them? From what I've read lately, they really got the shite end of the stick. Morlock? He said a naughty word in Skyrim. Name sound familiar? Malakath. Oh, right. Thank you. It's another name for Malakath. Daedric Prince of the Forsaken, Spurned and Unfavourable. So it may seem that these Snow Elves might be worshipping Malakath. That is an interesting connection. But I think it goes even deeper than that, depending on what school of thought you prescribe to. Malakath is regarded as the fallen form of Trinimac, and Trinimac is one of the four demigods revered by the Snow Elves. Those who think they are one and the same believe that Trinimac was consumed by Boethia and warped into the form of Malakath. So then, if these Falmer are in fact worshipping Trinimac, they would likely be doing so from a temple devoted to him, right? Presumably so, especially since they went out of their way to interfere with the excavation at Fort Greenwall. That would suggest they are still strict followers of the old beliefs in some form or another. We'll do some more research and hopefully we'll be able to uncover a location of a shrine to Trinimac here in Skyrim. Wait for, wait for word from Orion. Well, that could take a month. <laughs> Yeah, so with uh, one of the mods, you can add as many uh, enchantments to something as you like. So I've got the, some of the best weapons already, and then, then you just go nuts with it. So you probably can't make that out from here, but it's like... <laughs> it's got, like it, ki it kills you with everything kind of deal, you know, it's nuts. But yeah, there you go. That's just what I've been messing around with. Um, but yeah, the the, the actual um, museum itself is incredible. All the stuff that's in it. We were only in the main hall, really. Um, <clears throat> so very quickly, you've got this room, which I'm still gradually filling, very slowly. Uh, then the kind of back rooms here where the guards and stuff hang out. Need something? Then we've got the main sorting room. So when I pick things up, I can come to here and go, yeah, display everything I'm carrying that isn't a favourite or similar. Like, you get uh, Dawnbreak and you think, well, I want to keep that. There's a million and one undead in this game. Um, and you can do. So you can you can make a copy of it and display that in the museum. And over here you pick up various radiant radiant quests. If you find notes on the desk about something, it says go and investigate, blah 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 blah. It's pretty good. So these are the main hallways here. He was from one of the quests. <laughs> that little dude there. We got the East Exhibit Hall. And the museum isn't even finished yet, so, you know. Is it a bit dark on stream for you guys, eh? There you go. 
This is all the Daedric stuff. So there's copies of them there, hidden behind walls. All the stuff from the Dragonborn DLC is all here. All Mirax gear. All the black books. All kinds of uh, freaky stuff in this room. What time is it? He sort of says the same thing all the time. And then the room of knickknacks. <laughs> you get all kinds of weird stuff. All of Lost Empires. Those all the stuff you've discovered. Obviously you can see there there's still spaces for stuff I haven't found yet. Some stuff I have done. This is the Hall of Lost Empires, showcasing the bygone errors of the Dwemer. Four new displays. Nearly a thousand now. A variety of interesting and impressive artifacts have been uncovered and displayed here. Yeah, he's always doing tours in here for the uh, for the punters. The punters come in, etc. So it it sort of you want to basically start a new game with this mod, like install all the other mods you're going to do. And then uh, a Dragonborn patch at the end. And it integrates everything. So when he sends you off for things, sometimes, like let's say you've got Falskar installed. Once you've discovered Falskar, he'll start saying things like, oh, there's a such and such an artifact. And you've got to go to Falskar to get it, you know, and things like that. Oh, did you need something? One of the guards. I've also got. Um, the extended um, Skyrim stuff so you know like Bruma places like that so that's all on there as well it's all kind of nuts okay, a little bright it's so bright out here. I know it is well because I'm not a vampire dear so I think I'm the Thane of everywhere so far I think where am I not the Thane of Probably Dawnstar, actually, I don't think. Or was it? No, it's Morthal. I don't think I'm a Thane in Morthal yet. There's there's the quests there, isn't there? I want to be the Thane of everywhere. There's my horse. They jump on theirs as soon as I uh, do anything with it. Oh, and I've got the um, another mod, which faster. is quite nice. The sun is... <laughs> Get on these horses. Hopefully Inigo will um, delight us all with a song. She had like a demon horse thing until I told her to get rid of it. So yeah, I have got a lot of, uh, of mods on this. Go away. This is convenient horses as well. They're so much better than vanilla. Cut through Labyrinthia. Doesn't look like a ten year old game, does it? Mods. The power of mods. Yeah, I've got a, a newish to me mod um, The Great Forest of Whiterun. Because it, I hate that Whiterun just has like no trees around it or anything, so this adds in a bunch of trees like the rest of the area has. Go away. Yeah, I haven't cracked Labyrinthia yet. 
I've done a few things here, but I haven't done like the main find all the masks and enter it type thing. So instead of, you know, outside Whiterun being this big kind of barren place, it's now more like the forest you get around Falkreath and places like that. So it's kind of cool. I like it. Yes, I know it's not Anarchy Online. Outrunning the bear. Just leave your companions to kill things like that. Because <laughs> you can fight on horseback with uh, convenient horses. It's pretty cool. But it does make um, all this area feel a lot more part of, like, Falkreath and stuff. There's forest everywhere instead of just, you know, what looks like a barren marsh. There's a barrow somewhere I haven't discovered yet. Still does the same silly stuff, like if a, if a giant hits you with a club at low levels, you fly up into the sky like a thousand feet or something ridiculous. Now I've got like cutting room floor and, and such that adds a bunch of uh, places. And if you played Skyrim, this is this is the spot where you kill the first dragon. looks really different when you add a bunch of trees to it. Which I like. And instead of a big marsh area, suddenly, Skyrim seems, you know, pretty cool. All this on a, you know, 10 year old PC <laughs> with a 980. It's not bad. enough of all that so yeah there you go a little bit of Skyrim at the end I'll leave this now and we're, we're done yep so there's me <laughs> yeah, so thank you all for coming to the stream that's what I do when I'm not playing I always muck about in single player games like that I've got a few on um, Epic that I just bought because they were free and I've still not even installed or tried them, so they should be interesting. I've still got Cyberpunk installed. Haven't updated it, though. Apparently the update's like 40 gigabyte, and I'm like, eh, <laughs> maybe some other day. So, basically, I'll just say thank you all for coming along to the, ray, uh, to the stream. There'll be more Anarchy Online, not Skyrim. More Anarchy Online on Wednesday. Not sure what yet. We'll think of something interesting. And I will just say, bye for now. <laughs>